Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. America's 29th annual National Night Out tops our show this week. National Night Out is a nationwide event held the first Tuesday in August. It's designed to promote community and police partnerships. More than 5,000 Fort Meade residents and community partners showed up at McLaughlin Parade Field for an event that seems to get bigger and better every year. Fort Meade's National Night Out has been a consistent winner of Best Night Out several years running in its category, and if you showed up Tuesday, you'd know why. Some of this year's new features included a massive portable zip line. <laughs> Usual suspects included child identification, all sorts of emergency vehicles, and a very popular weapons display. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do we do the pull-ups first? Did you do push? Nah, I'm about to do it. Several local martial arts clubs showed up showing off their self-defense skills. Awesome. While National Night Out is focused on anti-crime efforts, keeping the community safe and aware is a team effort. Director of Emergency Services, we are one family over there, and it's fire, cops, and uh, physical security, which is all of our gate guards. So all of us work together to do this. As a matter of fact, this year, uh, we moved uh, our fire uh, protection, the fire prevention week open house. We're moving all those operations to here because we have the bigger audience. So we had to buy a whole bunch more stuff for handouts, but we're able to get to a whole, uh, a whole lot more people out here. And we, we have 200 people show up at our open house, which is nice, but it's not like the five to 10,000 people we get here. So along with the cops who get to show all their capabilities, we get to show our capabilities and hopefully uh, get a couple kids together and teach them to be fire safe because once you're adults we can't do anything with you. That's why we have to go after the kids. Fort Meade's Directorate of Emergency Services also had another reason to celebrate Tuesday. Last Friday they received the word that the fire department was named best small department for the Department of Defense. The recognition follows a list of honors earned by the department in recent years including multiple Army and Civilian Firefighters of the Year awards. Meanwhile I have some notes on off-duty activities coming up but first next month is National Suicide Prevention Month and the Army is expanding its observance with events during the entire month of September, focusing efforts on total Army family well-being, resilience, stigma reduction, and positive results achieved by getting involved and reaching out for help. Increased emphasis is being placed on promoting the recognition of suicide risk factors and training the target suicide prevention and intervention. The Army Reserve Medical Command just released this video with soldiers and civilians relating their personal experiences. One of my soldiers committed suicide last year. I had just gotten done speaking to him on the phone and I gave him some news he had been waiting to hear about a school he had applied for. He was very excited when we spoke and as far as I knew, everything was going well with him. I had a friend who I used to go swimming with all the time and when we went, we used to just hang out and have a good time and this guy was always funny, always laughing around, just great attitude, positive guy. And the next day, after we went out swimming one day, he shot himself. And his parents found out that he shot himself because the bullet went through the wall into the room. There were no warning signs. Uh, at least that's what we thought at first, but the reality could have been that maybe we weren't looking. Suicide is all about pain. And the problem with that kind of pain, it's hard to see. Uh, we don't see that pain. We see a physical pain, but we uh, don't see that uh, pain that's going on in somebody's heart. Sometimes they lose their way. Um, and when you care about someone, it's your responsibility to bring them back there. The entire video is almost four minutes long. You can go to the Army Reserve Medical Command's website for the full version. In other news, don't forget the U.S. Army Field Band Summer Concert Series continues through August. On the 18th, the volunteers take the stage, and the big series finale is on August 25th. The finale features all of the field band's components, and of course, Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture, complete with cannon fire. The concerts are free and open to the public. They start each Saturday in August at 7 p.m. in Constitution Park. And finally, the next Bowie Bay Sox Military Appreciation Night is coming up Wednesday. That's August 15th. All you have to do is enter the promo code MWR when purchasing your tickets online. For more information, you can go to the Fort Meade MWR website at www.ftmeadmwr.com. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week.